everyone and welcome back to my channel and to another weekly vlog. How are you all doing? Thanks for coming back for another week. Let me know in the comments down below how your week is going. And always don't forget you can come and join me on a Tuesday at 7 p.m. UK time if you want to chat along as we watch the weekly vlog. So <laughs> this week I'm actually doing some social activities. <laughs> <laughs> all within the realms of what is allowed right now, which isn't a lot. Um, but also it's just nice to have a couple of social plans. So I'm planning to meet a couple of friends outside. And yeah, I'm just, I'm feeling good about this week. I think it's gonna be busy work-wise as it always is, but it's a short week, so that's a plus. Um, and then yeah, it's just nice that I have some social plans to look forward to at the end of the week. But then also the fact that it's a long weekend, amazing. <laughs> I'm literally just sat on my sofa with Pumba. We've just been watching the TV. We watched The Circle. Uh, the one thing that really annoys me about The Circle is it's on so late. So I've just finished watching it and it's uh, like 10 past 11. So there just isn't the opportunity for me to go to bed early. <laughs> Pumba is just kind of <laughs> rustling around here. I'm actually just about to take him outside uh, for his last sort of wee of the evening. Um, but I can't say it too loud because he now knows the word. Uh, he's actually so good with going, I don't know why this is how we're starting the vlog and me talking about pee. And um, he's actually very good with going to the toilet. Not only is he trained now in that he goes outside, but from a very young age, like from as soon as we got him, uh, when we would bring him over to his toilet pad, we would tap the toilet pad. So kind of like tap the ground and we'd, and we'd say like, do your wee wee, like do your wee wee. And now he knows the words. So now even if we go outside, we can say to him like, do your wee wee. And he'll just go to the toilet on command. And um, so it's super helpful because obviously we don't have a back garden. So sometimes, you know, it is just a dash outside to let him do a wee. Uh, most times when I take him out, I do try and stay out for a while anyway, so we can have a sniff around and stuff. But yeah, sometimes, you know, we just, need him to do a wee before we pop him in a car or I'm running out in between meetings or something like that. So that's super handy. And uh, yeah, he's just, he's getting big guys. Like he's, he's like a little toddler puppy now I feel. <laughs> so he is just coming on to five months and he's just, I don't know, he's got like more of a personality. He's got a little bit more attitude. And uh, yeah, he's still such a joy though. Like he honestly brings so much joy. It was the best thing we ever did was to get a puppy. We were so, like, we were set on waiting until we got a house together and a back garden and stuff. But, you know, he's doing fine in the apartments and he gets out loads. And, uh, yeah, we'll hopefully have a house for him in the not-so-distant future. He's lifted my spirits so much and he's helped me have... <laughs> he knows I'm talking about him. He's helped me have... Uh, joy and a bit more balance in my life even when I've really really struggled to do that because obviously you have to look after your dog and um so yeah even when I was having my roughest days at work and you know really struggling I always had this little man that I needed to take care of and take outside <laughs> he literally melts my heart I just love him so much and he loves cuddles. He loves being picked up. He just loves cuddles. He loves having rubs. <laughs> and he's a little bit sleepy now. I'm going to take him out so I can put him to bed. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys a little Pumba update to start us off. And uh, I hope you enjoy the weekly vlog and hope you're all doing well. That's all I got. <laughs> Wednesday evening, uh, it's very dark, but uh, I can't really be bothered to get up and turn another light on. <laughs> I actually like it quite dark in the evenings. 
like I know it is dark in the evenings but I like to have the room dark I don't like to have bright lights on in the evenings I think because like I'm just staring at screens all day and you just get sick of all the bright I very much like to have the majority of the lights off and just the telly on and um, which I know probably isn't great for my eyes to be fair I do have my lights on in my kitchen like over there but yeah in the sitting room where I'm chilling I like it to be not so bright Pumba is sat here beside me chilling I'm just about to watch the uh, latest reaction to the hills with Brittany Port and Timmy her husband they are so funny if you're a Hills fan cannot recommend highly enough to watch their reaction videos on YouTube they're so good and then after that I'm gonna watch The Circle so I've got a nice evening of television and YouTube ahead of me uh, I worked super late today which is totally against my new mantra of like making more time for me and having a better work-life balance um but I feel like I don't know it's coming up to the long weekend and so yeah I feel kind of very fun but it's just come down for his tummy scratch his his face when I do the tummy scratch I don't know if you can see it properly it's so funny um but yeah I think because I have now the um long weekend I can just kind of suck it up for today uh tomorrow then I also like blocked out pretty much my entire day I've got a big meeting in the morning which is why I had to work late but then I've blocked out the rest of my afternoon so it's gonna be a more chill day tomorrow and then it is the extra long weekend and I'm so excited I'm actually meeting a friend on Friday in a park and a friend on Saturday in a park <laughs> so I'm so excited and then I'll just spend the rest of the weekend chilling with my boyfriend um enjoying Easter yeah so I don't, I'm so looking forward to it the extra like two days off it's gonna be amazing I haven't had a day off this year other than like New Year's Day so that's just not good is it so <laughs> oh anyway this premiere is just kicking off so I'm on the countdown screen uh so I'm gonna enjoy it <laughs> sorry I just I just love him so much he's just so funny he just loves his tummy rubs but like he has to have something in his mouth like when I'm rubbing his tummy it's so funny <laughs> so <laughs> nothing annoys me more than having dry hands when it comes to just like self-care stuff like dry hands it genuinely stresses me out. Like I just can't relax. I can't relax when I have dry hands. And I've been using the, is it Sol de Janeiro? I have the um, body wash here. Sol de Janeiro, I don't know. Um, and I'm using their hand cream. It is so bad. I've used it like three times this evening and my hands are still so like, you know when your hands are dry, like when you've come out of a bath and they kind of go, let me see if I can get to focus. Yeah, they kind of go like a bit like scaly looking. They're so dry. Oh, it infuriates me. <laughs> My sister would tell you I am literally a nightmare if I don't have hand cream. I'm a nightmare to be around. <laughs> like genuinely, it totally freaks me out when I have super dry hands. But I want to do my uh, skincare routine before I then put a better hand cream on my hands. <laughs> So I've actually got a couple of new products to try. Uh, my skin on my face has also been feeling dry, which is strange because actually, normally that happens to me. It's like we come into winter. I have dry skin anyway, but just it feels dry like it would do in the winter. But then I also feel like I've had a bit of a cold, so maybe it's that. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I have this uh, Medic 8 Hydra hydrate b5 liquid hydration serum serum <laughs> and i have doctor's formula marine collagen night moisturizer so i'm going to try both of these for the first time uh these are actually from my advent calendars from christmas i think i mentioned before but unless i actually put something into my bathroom i don't use it and so i actually ran out of my hydration serum uh probably a couple of weeks ago now um, so I've just not been doing that stuff. I've been using my niacinamide, but not a hydration serum. And then I've just been using my day moisturizer as my night moisturizer. Well, maybe that's why my skin is dry. <laughs> now that I say it out loud. Uh, yeah, so if it's not in my bathroom, like where my 
still fits to do my nighttime regime. It's just not gonna go on my face. <laughs> so um, yeah, it just needs to be better, but like as soon as I run out of something, I'm just grabbing a new one. And it's just pure laziness. I'll just be like, oh, I'll get it next time, next time, next time. And two weeks have gone and I've not used it at all. Oh, that hydration serum is nice. I really don't like when serums kind of, what's the word, is emulsify the world? Like when they, like they, that one just sank straight in and the texture's really nice. Okay, let's try this fancy, ooh, night moisturizer. I think this is supposed to be really good. Oh, it looks lovely and thick. Oh, this is exactly what my skin needs. <laughs> oh, oh, it feels nice already. Oh, man. It feels expensive, but it's thick as well. Like, I just need a thicker moisturizer at night as I like most people do, but because I have dry skin, like, it just has to be a decent moisturizer oh my god that was so nice okay and i think that's it i'm just gonna put those two on just two hydration things i'm not gonna use any of my um exfoliants like my chemical exfoliants just because my skin is feeling dry so i'll give my skin a break tonight and just hydrate i was actually watching hiram do you guys watch hiram anyone who's into skincare you should watch hiram he's amazing uh, but he was saying his standard routine is to do like a chemical exfoliant so that for me would be my uh drunk elephant night serum uh from boost is that what it's called and then um the next day just hydrate and then the day after that you could use your retinoid now i've actually not been using my retinoid at all um just because my skin has been a bit on the drier side and feeling a bit sensitive so i've just been alternating between the night serum like one night off one night on and moisturizing in case you're interested Anyway, I'm gonna get myself to bed and get some hand cream on my hands. I actually soaked up a bit of the face cream on this hand, so this hand feels good now, but this hand is still dry. <laughs> Let me know actually if you have any recommendations for good hand cream. I'm trying to think which ones I liked. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. Oh, guys, I need to go to bed. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. <sighs> you guys, I have some pretty awful news to share with you. Oh, my just ruining the moment. Uh, yeah, awful news because I just tried to make my avocado bagel. But there's um, a very key ingredient to my avocado bagel. It's avocado and mushroom bagel. It's a very key ingredient. Here is my Waitrose extra large avocado, best before 4th of April. It's the first. And it's rotten. Oh, I'm so sad. Look, it's like proper rotten. That's like not salvageable. <laughs> Uh, I'm so sad. I've actually not been having my bagel every morning like I used to, but I tend to have like, I get in two punnets of mushrooms, one large avocado and my bagels and that does me for two days. So yeah, I'm just like a bit devastated. Uh, so I then switched it up and made my mushrooms and used egg whites and it was so disappointing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's just so disappointing. I don't think egg whites and mushrooms go very well together. I mean, the thing is like people like mushroom like with their omelets. I would like an omelet and then mushrooms on the side. I just don't think they go well together. So it just did not make for a nice bagel. And yeah, I just feel incredibly unsatisfied right now. And I'm very annoyed about my rotten avocado. So anyway. <laughs> Uh, so it is Thursday and um, I've taken Pumba out for a nice long walk although he has still come back full of beans and um, I'm gonna take him out on another big walk actually and just try and wear him out because yeah he just seems to have extra energy today to burn and uh, today is Thursday before the long weekend so it's my last day working I think I mentioned yesterday I'd blocked a lot of my calendar out so I can actually get you know bits and pieces done before the break of the weekend and so that it's a bit more chilled because I have been working extra hours. I started super early this morning and I was working late last night and stuff. So yeah, that's what I've done. And now my day is super chilled <laughs> and I'm loving it. I'm gonna go for a walk, I think over to Canary Wharf relatively early in the afternoon. Like I wanna get over before Pret closes so I can get my coffee on my subscription. So I might go over for like maybe three or so and uh yeah try and like cut my day off there so that would be amazing um but yeah i'm just so excited for the long weekend so um 
<laughs> Pumbaa's just walking around like what he wants to play, so I'm gonna go play with him uh, for a bit. It is Friday afternoon. I've just come back into my flat after spending a couple of hours with a friend in a park. <laughs> we just went to a park nearby me, the one I normally take Pumba for walks in. And uh, we went to a nice little local cafe and got um, a falafel wrap and I got a chai tea latte. And it was just so nice and we just caught up and yeah, it was just really nice to have I don't know, a bit of like normal social interaction. And then I took Pumba out and, you know, we just sort of sat with him in the park and he was just running around. <laughs> he met a cute little puppy actually that he was playing with for a while. Uh, but my boyfriend's gonna come shortly and take Pumba for a boy's night. Uh, he's just, he's just looking at me now. I don't know if he wants to play. I think he might just wanna come up, but he can jump up. So I don't know, maybe he's just being lazy. Okay, he's up now and settled. <laughs> But yeah, he's had a good day out in the park and yeah, he met another little puppy. Yeah, so that was lovely. And I'm also looking forward though to an evening to myself tonight. Like it is, what time is it now? It's like half three, is it? It's uh, just four o'clock actually. And uh, yeah, I'll have the rest of the day to myself. And it just feels so nice because it's like, feels like it should be Saturday, but it's not. And I don't have to go anywhere. Like normally I go to my boyfriend's on a Saturday, but I just get to spend the evening at home, do nothing. Uh, I will actually do something though. I have some bits and pieces around the flat I keep meaning to do and I want to get, uh, just sort through some clothes and kind of like have clothes in my wardrobe that I actually wear, stuff like that. I'd like to try and get some of that done tonight. Um, but I'm just going to see how it goes. <laughs> Uh, and then tomorrow I'm actually going to meet another friend in another park um, for a few, like we've just got some nibbly bits and uh, I think we might be having some cheeky Prosecco. Uh, yeah, so oh, I just feel in such a good mood. I just so needed this long weekend and um, it really feels like it's gonna be a nice break. I'm actually just gonna make myself coffee, chill, probably watch some Superstore on Netflix and uh, wait for my boyfriend to come and yeah. Oh, I did a workout this morning as well. Uh, it's just so good getting a workout done in the morning because then I feel like I've been productive and I've done something for myself in the morning. Uh, like I've done my exercise and I can really just relax then and I don't feel, not that you should feel guilty anyway, but like I just feel, I still feel like I've achieved something even if I sit around for the rest of the day. <laughs> So it is later, quite a bit later. I'm actually getting ready for bed. I just watched The Circle. You guys have to tell me if you're watching The Circle, nobody has been talking to me about it. <laughs> My family at home are not watching it or they started watching it, but they're way behind. I have nobody to talk to about it. <laughs> and it's just popping off. Uh, so yeah, I think like you can let me know in the comments down below. Are you up for Manrika or not? Because I feel like tonight's episode may have change things for some people. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. <laughs> Just leave me a comment down below and let me know how you're doing. <laughs> anyway, there's some sort of rager happening in one of the apartments in my building block. I could just hear people screaming and partying, which is just mad. Like we're not out of lockdown yet. I know there's been some easing of restrictions and like I could go see a friend in a park today, but you definitely can't have a house party. So that's just weird. Um, it seems to have quietened down a bit now, but yeah, it just sounds a bit mad. Uh, but luckily, I have conditioned myself to fall asleep to sleep music. So if I need to put earphones in, I will do that and fall asleep so it's not going to affect my sleep. Anyway, yeah, I just had a really chilled evening. I actually ended up on the phone to Disney because I was moving our Disney cruise. Uh, so our Disney cruise originally was supposed to be last May, May 2020. Uh, then I moved it to this May uh, and now I've moved it to next May. <laughs> 
so it's now booked for May 2022. But I, just to give you an idea, I don't know if any of you guys are in the same boat if you had something booked. Um, because like I guess there's a I know a lot of people have been saying that prices and stuff have gone up at Disney, um, like in the resorts and everything. But we booked the cruise obviously for May 2020. And uh, when it got cancelled, we got a 25% credit, which meant additional credit. So we got 100% back in a voucher, basically, plus 25% extra. Um, I think you could just decide to get a refund and you would just get 100% cash back. But we were going to do another cruise, so the 25% was a good offer. Uh, so then we applied that to a cruise this year, which has now been cancelled. Now they've rolled that forward again. And actually, with the 25% credit, we're still... $550 better off um so like that's just gone on our stateroom I actually paid in advance all the servers tips which I think it's like 100 something and um, so they're all paid in advance and now we have credit on the room so I don't know like it's just it's good to know that they haven't just like whacked the prices up because if they had given you a 25% extra on your voucher but then all the prices were more than 20% 25% higher um yeah so it's just really good that actually the 25% means something and you get something extra so yeah it'll be like I'm already thinking about how do I spend my cruise credit <laughs> And I'm thinking maybe we have to go to Paolo or to Remy. Although I know I'll easily spend the cruise credit in the gift shop or on cocktails. <laughs> oh, um, so yeah, I'm thinking maybe I should start, I don't know, looking forward to Disney stuff again and maybe like filming a bit about it because um, I just I don't know why my presses are open. <laughs> um I have been yeah just like kind of starting to look forward to it again and uh, I miss planning for Disney I miss it so much and I know planning is so different um these days and I've been so out of touch with what is happening like I don't follow any of the channels that update you on the news and stuff because it just is, it seems a bit pointless because like right now there's nothing that I can do for my trips that are coming up you know, because they changed all the windows. There's not like the fast pass window. Um, I will, there, there's no fast pass. And then there's not the dining window like so far in advance. So it's just like, what am I, why would I start planning today when by the time I can actually do anything, it'll probably all have changed again. Um, but I don't know, maybe I will start looking into it and maybe I'll make a video about, you know, sort of planning a post. <laughs> um What's it, what do we call it? Unpleasantness. Uh, the great unpleasantness, as Jen calls it. Uh, Disney trip. Just kind of, you know, a back to Disney World trip plan. And what does that even look like? Because I today don't know what that looks like. So I must look into it myself and then maybe I can share a video on it. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about the cruise because I don't know, I feel like May 2022... <sighs> I don't want to jinx it. My sister said I was jinxing it earlier. But I just have good vibes about it. I think we're going to go on the cruise. It's a three night cruise. Either my dinner or my evening snacks are repeating on me. <laughs> I had some snacks. Uh, I don't know if I, maybe it's coming up to time of the month. But like, I don't know. I have been snack craving uh, this evening. Just even though I'm not hungry. Like, you know, you just want to eat everything. Um, and I actually, I got, I don't know if I mentioned, I got HelloFresh this week. For the first time in a while. I had a sweet and sour dish from that this evening but like yet again what a couple of the ingredients were not fresh like I had a pepper and like a spring onion that had were just I had to throw them out <sighs> they just need to sort it out I mean especially with the name HelloFresh um because I really do like the whole meal planning thing like I pay I would I'm happy to pay for the convenience but it just has happened so many times that you're not getting ingredients that are going to last you a week and you know if you're getting three or four meals like you need them to last like at least almost a week I got my box on Tuesday and by Friday like there's spoiled ingredients you know what I mean anyway what was I talking about the cruise was I so I was gonna talk about oh yeah so we booked the cruise three night bohemian cruise going from Fort Port Canaveral sorry I keep thinking Fort Lauderdale. I always think Fort Lauderdale instead of Port Canaveral. I don't know where that comes from. We're going for Port, Port Canaveral for three nights to the Bahamas um, on the Disney Dream. And we've booked actually a different room than what we had booked originally. We've actually gone for one of the aft rooms, which I've always been a bit like, I don't know, because, you know, they say to go midship if you want least amount of movement. 
but the aft has an extended balcony. <laughs> And it looks so good because me and Rachel loved the veranda. The balcony is like the veranda, they call it. Um, we loved it, but literally you could only fit two people on it. And there's going to be four of us. So an extended veranda would make a big difference. So that's what we booked. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, I'm going to get myself to bed. It actually seems like the party may have stopped. I don't know, it's gone quiet. Maybe someone called the police or something. Um, which, like, I am not against. <laughs> um, because it is not the time to be having parties. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get myself to bed and get a good rest. And, yeah, I don't have any plans. Like, I don't need to get up early in the morning to bring Pumba for a walk because he's over with my boyfriend. And, yeah, I'm going to meet my friend Hannah in a park. We're going to chill and have some snacks and I think some yeah fizz and oh I'm just so looking forward to it I had such a nice day um today as well with my friend Lisa <sighs> I don't know it's just feeling good it's so nice to just have some social events <laughs> and I booked my hairdressing appointment for when the hairdressers open so the hairdressers open in the UK on the 12th so I've booked an appointment that week like for the Friday I think and then I also booked to get my eyebrows done. And I haven't had either of those things done since last summer. So I am just so excited for it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll get myself to bed and I will see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, so it is Saturday. Uh, I've had quite a chilled morning and uh, I'm just now getting ready to head out to meet my friend Hannah over at uh, Regent's Park and we're gonna have a lovely picnic outside. I've actually made an effort to put myself together today. So <laughs> I've done a little bit of makeup, um, literally just put on like foundation, mascara and some eyebrows. Um, but I just feel so put together. And I did my hair as well, super quick with the Dyson. Um, yeah. So I don't know, I just feel a bit pulled together. I mean, I'm still wearing leggings. <laughs> <laughs> not making too much of an effort uh staying comfy for sure but yeah it just feels nice to kind of like get up and get ready and have somewhere to go so yeah I'm gonna go meet her um I don't think I'll use my camera but I might just get some footage on my phone maybe um yeah so oh, I'm just so excited <laughs> it's not the nicest of days but at least that means that the park won't be rammed because when they, we had really good weather the other week the parks were insanely busy so uh, yeah at least you know it'll just be us shivering a little bit on a bench eating a picnic <laughs> I'm so excited. Right guys, I will catch you a bit later. So guys, I am in the Rose Garden in Regent's Park. I've actually never been here before, which is crazy. And now the roses aren't actually out just yet, <laughs> uh, but it's still really nice. So uh, Hannah secured us this lovely bench um, and she's brought us lots of lovely picnic things. Uh, and most importantly, we have some bubbles, which I'm very much enjoying. It's not super warm, which is great because it means that the park actually isn't super busy. I think I was saying this earlier uh it's quite cloudy as you guys can see um but it's also cold which means that the prosecco stays cold <laughs> So it is actually upload day and I thought I would just jump on and say thank you so much for watching. I also didn't end the vlog. <laughs> but also I hope you had a lovely long weekend because I certainly did. I just felt like I really got to unwind and relax. I didn't do any work. Got to see some friends and spend quality time with my boyfriend and with Pumba. And oh, it was just so nice. And the sun came out for Easter. And yeah, it was just really, really nice. And I had chocolate, of course. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so all in all, just a really good weekend. I hope you guys have had a lovely weekend too. And yeah, I will see you next week for next week's weekly vlog. Bye.